giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. So getting into the top 10 here. Top 10. Uh, top 10. Here we go. Um, shout out to LC910 who's in the chat. Our 10th ranked team is going to be 910. From Medicine Heights, uh, Michigan and Bishop Foley High School, it's the Foley Freeze. They have an overall record of 44, 23, and 1. They were the winners of the Forest Hill District event. So an interesting season for the Foley Freeze. Quarterfinalists and EI winners at Centerline. Finalists at the Troy event. And then number one seed and winners at the Forest Hills event. Entering MSC on the DTE Energy Field, they would rank second. An 8-3-1 and one record with a 3.0 um, RSA. They would be selected number one overall by 67 hot, but would lose um, the upset in the quarterfinals to the number one, in the number eight alliance. Foley Freeze is a nice swerve that can maneuver the field easily and score. Um, solid success from 1323 in Houston. So really excited to see them compete on the Archimedes field um, this weekend. So congrats and good luck to them. Um, is this, Tyler, is this the team that they were talking about has the dirty swerve? No, I think that's uh, I think that's Brian Petno dogs off the top of my head. But okay. I'm not, I, I Michigan can correct me. I'm sorry if I'm. Yeah, uh, I had turned in early, or I like heard, heard them say that, but I didn't know who they were talking about when I was listening yesterday. So, all right, cool, thanks. Um, so yeah, fully freeze uh, breaks us here in the top ten. They do look good. I think the swerve uh, looks great, yeah. and obviously that's going to be a huge uh, benefit to them. Um, as defense just kind of really ramps up um, here at the at the championship level. Yeah, and and nine ten, you know, getting knocked out in the quarters at MSC uh, obviously didn't really uh, deter uh, the voters too much. Uh, I think they uh, still looked absolutely fantastic, uh, and I'm just looking for even more uh, out of them. Obviously, I think they're much hungrier for a deeper run than quarterfinals uh, with Hot uh, at MSC. Sweet. Sorry, lost in chat. Oh, so many FIM teams aren't going to make it in. Like 25% of the teams are FIM, and there's like 25% of uh, teams going to champs. I think yeah. the adequate amount of FIM teams are going to make so it. So I thought I thought Hannah Smith <laughs> was trying to get us to move along because they said it's currently 9-10 Central Time, but then it occurred to me that we announced Holy <laughs> Freeze at 9-10. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty wow. funny. I actually, I actually thought the same thing. Yeah, and then I crazy. thought producer Nick was uh, – uh, actually typing under a different account to get us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nick, Nick goes, uh, he, he yells in our ear and now he's, he's taking on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we said Nick. producer Nick, we'd be done maybe by 10, but that, that guy is coming. coming Not going to happen. <laughs> Never going to happen. Never going to happen. That's what it was. All right. So, and then our ninth ranked team moving on is going to be 987 from Las Vegas, Nevada and Summer Memorial High School. It's the high rollers. <laughs> Robo -ro -ro Ringlers. With an overall record of 33 and three, they were the winners of the San Diego and the Las Vegas regionals. Uh, as we talked about before, it's so nice to have the high rollers quote back. Um, they never really were gone, but just not really as dominant as um, we've seen in the years past, um, in these past couple of years. So two number one seeds and two regional wins. Uh, they have a nice two hatch rocket auto. And it's just really so smooth through defense. Doesn't get rattled and just keeps pressing on. So incredible, incredible run this year. And they're in Kieran. So, um, Tyler, your thoughts on 987 since you were you know, at the I, Las Vegas region? Yeah, I think it's a pretty uh, appropriate spot for them, honestly. I think they're a top 10 bot. I think they're very close to the to the cusp of elite. Uh, I don't think they're as good as, like, some of our top five teams, for example. Uh, I They looked really good at Las Vegas regionally. You know, admittedly, Las Vegas, not the toughest regional uh, out there, but they, they did look very good and were quite dominant, much more dominant uh, than last year where I think they had some stumbles. And I think 97 is back in full form, uh, so looking for good things out of them. Sweet. By the way, I just want to side note, Mike. I did not change that in the in the script. You wrote it that way. I know that's what I'm saying. Okay. I know. <laughs> that's what I just really wrote it that way for sure. That's funny. 100%. So, all right, our eighth rank team is Team 3538 from Auburn Hills, Michigan, and Avondale High School. It's the Robo Jackets. They have an overall record of 67, 13, and three, and they were the winners of the Dow Division at MSC. So this is the third appearance this season for the top 25 uh, on the top 25 for the Robo Jackets. After three wins at three district events, those being Southfield, Gull Lake, and Alpena Number Two, uh, they would enter the MSC and the Dow Division. After 12 matches, would finish 11 and one with a 3.25 ranking score average. They were selected number one overall, but it would take eight matches but would take the division win there. And they would beat the DTE Energy Alliance to face the Ford Alliance in the finals. And again, five, yes, five matches to determine the winner. Um, they would walk away um, as semifinal or as finalists there, excuse me. Um, uh, and then any any guesses to what division they'll be on? 
<laughs> Obi and Curry as well. Yeah, so. I was gonna say I think Curry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, a great great season for the Robo Jackets and looking to keep it going here this weekend. And yeah, Robo Jackets actually uh, after MSC ended up ranked number one in all of MSC by the way from a district points perspective. Uh, so yeah, great things out of them. Uh, I agree with chat. Uh, I think they're in a pretty appropriate. Uh, place uh, at uh, number eight, I think is a very appropriate spot for them. So uh, great job of Robo Jackets. Uh, you know, obviously Kiri's going to be a hell of a climb. Uh, they go up through, but I think Robo Jackets are a team that I think uh, when people talk about the top teams for it, uh, I don't know if they're quite in the top top because of the teams that are in that division. And I think they could be a team that really surprises a lot of people yeah. and uh, ends up maybe as like a three seed. And ends up, uh, I think there's an opportunity for them to win the division uh, that way. I mean, there's obviously, you know, there's other teams in Curie that are still coming up, uh, but uh, there's a lot, you know, there's still a lot of attrition that goes on. Speaking of which, real quick aside, I just want to mention this because teams saying, you know, oh, my team wasn't in top 25. I will tell you uh, straight up that the Detroit championship is much deeper. Uh, and just looking uh, versus Houston, if you look at where the top 25 voting for was, uh, there was, and we'll release the full list next week, but there was kind of these chunks there and then all of a sudden this huge chunk was almost all detroit uh before we got to i had to dig pretty deep for like the lower uh numbers in regards to houston we had to dig pretty deep for there are a ton of teams in that huge chunk right in the middle uh that might not make the exact 25 but we'll release the top 40 list uh if you're not in our discord uh join the 1700 people that are in it right now and uh check that out uh, always we will release on cheap delphi uh at some point in time too sweet all right, so moving on to our seventh team. It's going to be 1241. From Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, and Rick Hansen Secondary School is Theory 6. With an overall record of 46-10, and 10, they were the winners of the Ontario District Championship. So what a season for Theory 6. They would start out at the Waterloo event, where they would end up as finalists against 2056. They would Then at the McMaster event, they would win it with 2056. And then at the Ontario Provincial Championship, would win the Science Division and then beat 2056. Um, and we'll be playing with and against them in Curie as well. <laughs> so um, an, a really awesome season for 1241. They've been putting out some really great machines recently. Um, and then also um, at the provincial championship, they would not only win, uh, but have a Dean's List and a Woody Flowers winner as well. So no chairman's uh, award for the, this year for them or um, oh, yeah. or even an uh, engineering inspiration, which um, is I found really, really surprising. Um, it's just they have been really um, excelling at that the last couple of years, I know for sure. But uh, four banners, four medals this year for them. So a uh, really, really nice season, a really great robot from 1241. Um, and we'll be seeing them in Curie. So uh, I look forward to it. Yeah, I think you've said all there. I'm looking for the 1241. Can't wait to see them uh, compete. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and then last before our break, in our sixth spot is Team 195. From Southington, Connecticut, and Southington High School, it's the Cyber Knights. They uh, an overall record of 53-19. They were the winners of the Central New York Regional, Western New England, and Hartford District events. Uh, starting their season outside of the New England District, they would pick up a win at the Central New York Regional, and then inside of New England, continue the success, picking up a win at Western New England, and then at the Hartford event, would pick up that gold, gold, cling, bling. Two weekends ago at the New England District Championship, they would rank eighth with a 2.75 ranking score average and would be selected number one overall. Um, after beating eight, they would fall to the number four seed in the semifinals. Um, and that, I just can never remember it. And I always get corrected and I never can remember it. But that like, mm -hmm. really incredible record of making it to the finals like six out of the last seven years or whatever it was um, would come to an end here. But um they would uh, pick up the chairman's award at um, the New England District Championships as well. So a uh, favorite for me, for sure, kind of heading into the Detroit for chairman's award, at least. Um, and then Robot Wise, too. They're just um, always just really, really good. So they'll be on Curie with everybody else. <laughs> um, so good luck to them. So I've been defending 195 all year, but I'm going to take the opposite stance this time that I do think 195 is too high uh, in this. I do think they're a good team, but I have them – uh, closer to about the 15 to 20 mark. Uh, so I, I think 195 has stumbled a little bit. I, I do think they're still a very good team and a force to be reckoned with, but uh, I'm not sure uh, in regards to where they're going to be. I know they have all the blue banners that they do, uh, and they're still a great team, and, and I really do love that team. But to me, I think I, I think they're a bit high, actually, for where they should be, uh, and that's just the way I kind of view it. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. 
You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.